hello guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to prepare something very simple with just two ingredients as you can see i'm melting my butter someone will be wondering what i'm about to prepare it's very simple what we call fine toffee caramel toffee yeah do you remember growing up in ghana i was so obsessed with this toffee yeah so this is just butter that i'm melting going to leave it to melt with this recipe you need a condensed milk and this is what I got you can get this from any grocery shop if you are in Ukraine yeah we all know what condensed milk is yeah so I'm just using two ingredients for this recipe guys it's very simple try it at home Finally, we are in December. You yeah, have seen a certain thing on YouTube like people are doing vlogmas. Hmm. Your girl cannot do that, guys. <laughs> but I'll try and be consistent, okay? We just started, but I promise you 2020 is going to be big. So I'm pouring my condensed milk in the pan. Guys, when you are doing this, you need a non-sticking pan okay so that it wouldn't stick in the pan I want to space everything <laughs> and also you have to like cook it under a low heat because you don't want your toffee to get burnt to get that bitter taste okay So yeah, after pouring it in your pan, you just keep stirring until it's thick and it turns golden brown. That's all, that's all. Nothing really. Keep stirring. So it's getting thick as you can see. Yeah, we all know that condensed milk is very sweet. Eh? I like to add just a bit of lemon juice to it just to balance with the sweetness but it is very very optional guys you don't need to add it to it this is just mine this is just what I want okay it's very optional you don't have to add it to it you know every recipe you can omit and also add so feel free to do anything you want to do so at this point you have to keep stirring and so you get that golden brown color okay because if you leave it without stirring it it will get burnt guys you keep stirring it until you get the desired color you want so i'm going to add more lemon juice there's no plenty okay it's about um a tablespoon yeah of lemon not too much because my caramel isn't too much so i can't use more <laughs> else it will be sour instead of sweet you know so you keep stirring you cook under a low heat and you keep stirring okay so get brown very soon As you can see it's almost done it's getting brown and this thing took long to brown because I'm cooking it under low heat I don't want it to get burnt so if you want a perfect caramel toffee or fine toffee you have to get patient okay to get the perfect taste you don't want any bitter taste behind your throat yeah, so you have patience for it and stir it gently. Yeah. Wow, this is how it looks after stirring for some time, guys. Yeah, look at how small it is. No wonder it used to be expensive back in the days. Because I use a lot of condensed milk, but it became smaller. Anyways, think here. Yeah. Wow, you see why I told you to use a non sticky pan? See then sticking the pan. Perfect. 
think I like it this week. I don't want it to be more brown. Let's go light. Okay. Wow. Guys, this is very hot. So if you don't take care, it can burn you. So you have to leave it to cool before you transfer it onto your chopping board. But first of all, you have to grease your chopping board, okay? In order for it not to stick on it. So that you can shape it into any shape you want. Yeah. I think it's okay now. I'm going to leave it to cool whilst I wear my gloves to mold it into the desired shape I want. Yeah. Transfer it onto my chopping board. I've already greased my chopping board with um, some oil. You can use margarine, anything, just to grease it right. This is still hot. If you cannot work with it like this, you have to wait for like two to three minutes before you start molding it. Because it's very hot, guys. You don't take care. You can hurt yourself. Guys, yeah. I'm going to mold it. If you leave it for it to be very hard, you cannot mold it into your desired shape. Yeah, so just going to mold it. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'll cut it diagonally. I'm going to show you, you'll see it. Don't worry. This thing is not rolling that thing. Yeah, we're going to use our hands. <laughs> my hands are already washed, like the gloves were just retarding my movement. <laughs> oh my goodness. Amazing. This thing looks like creak creak. <laughs> but it is not guys. Whoa. Yep. This thing is quite long. I'm gonna cut it over there. Yeah. You can mold it into any shape that you want, okay? But I'm just going the authentic way. Because, yeah, this is how they used to do it back in the days. So I'm going it that way. I'm done rolling it. I'm going to be cutting it diagonally, okay? Before it dries up. Do you remember it now? <laughs> I used to be obsessed with this thing, guys. It's getting hard. I'm gonna keep it here. I'm sticking onto the knife. So yeah, diagonally. Stay near. To change the knife because it wasn't sharp enough to give me that smooth cut. Wow, this is so easy. Okay, you see that? Yeah, it's getting hard. I have to quickly cut it. Before it dries up, else to be difficult to cut, you know. Okay, so guys, this is the final product. This is the end, and this is the authentic way of cutting this thing. But feel free to mold it into any shape at all that you want, you know. Yeah, cooking is like an art. 
you do whatever you want to suit your taste and also what you want okay yeah so there's the final product i'm going to leave it to cool a bit then i package it in an airtight container guys yeah okay so guys that is it i am done it is neatly and nicely packaged this festive season you can do same like you have to do a lot and package it and give it to somebody as a gift the person will really be grateful because it's really tasty okay thank you so much for sticking with me don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet guys please if you've been watching me till this time and you haven't subscribed Please don't do that okay subscribe to my channel also like this video if you enjoyed it share it to your friends so they can also watch me so we we'll meet again have a wonderful week ahead god bless you bye